Here's our first stop, the ISX-15 heavy-duty engine. It is our flagship engine for the Class 8 truck market. Joining me is Ken Federley. Ken is our 2010 heavy-duty program leader. Ken, thank you for joining me. Thanks, Lou. So I tell you what I'd like to do is ask you from, um, from your position and from the engineering work that's been done, what is it for, uh, that is delivering the fuel economy performance and reliability for our heavy-duty ISX-15 engine? What would you say about it? Well, Lou, to meet the 2010 stringent emissions, it's really all about system integration. It takes taking all the components and pulling them together as one system. And I think Cummins has a real advantage because we in-house make all these components. We work together. We're all co-located. And as an engineering team, we were able to pull this package together and optimize it for the 2010 emissions and to get great fuel economy. Some of the key elements of that is, first of all, you've got to have EGR. Mm -hmm. It's a requirement to get down to these low emissions levels. Cummins introduced EGR in 2002. We've been a leader in EGR. We, we've got the market best fuel economy with our EGR system in both our 2002 and our 2007 products, and we just built on that. One thing we've added, we added the XPI fuel system. For 2010. Which is new for 2010. It, it can deliver extremely high pressures. Our old fuel system, HPI, delivered 34,000 PSI. Let's just say this fuel system delivers far more than that. Okay. And it can deliver it at any engine RPM. How it works, we have a high pressure fuel pump that's actually connected to the gear tray. This creates the extremely high pressure fuel, which then is moved up to this common rail. This common rail stores this high pressure fuel until it's needed. So it's like a capacitor that then can be pulled off by each individual cylinder okay. as it needs to fuel. It gives you the advantage that even if the engine RPM goes down, you still have this high pressure fuel available, which gives you great fuel economy, great performance, and meets emissions. The injectors are electronically controlled by the engine ECM, and it allows multiple pulses to be commanded, which again, helps on performance, helps on emissions. It gives us a lot of flexibility to optimize the combustion system like we've never had before. Excellent. Now you talk about integration. Pick up on the VGT Turbo. Why is the VGT Turbo important for us? Well, as you know, Lou, we introduced the VGT Turbo in 2002 as an integral part of our system. It is very key to help manage the EGR system to allow you to flow the right amount of EGR efficiently into the engine when and where you need it. So the turbocharger can, in essence, change sizes to optimize for whatever road conditions or power requirements that are needed, and it allows us to get the EGR to flow easily through the engine. In other words, the engine can breathe easily, which makes it fuel efficient. So we've talked about the fuel system, air handling, and now on the integration piece, the after treatment. Talk about the after treatment and how that is integrated with the engine. Okay, Lou, in 2007, we introduced the diesel particulate filter. What that system does is it removes particulates from the exhaust. So now there's virtually zero smoke coming out of uh, Class 8 trucks since 2007. Now we've added SCR. SCR reduces NOx, and it's far more efficient than we ever expected, especially with the copper zeolite. We're getting well over 90% conversion efficiency. What that allows us to do is increase the engine out NOx, which we can translate to fuel economy. So we optimize the engine now for fuel economy and performance, and a large part of the emissions is handled by the after treatment system. It's also key, it's not a static system. It is dynamic with the engine. So it's very tightly controlled by the engine ECM working in conjunction with the after treatment system. The engine helps manage the exhaust temperature so that we can put the after treatment in an optimum position to where it can have the highest conversion efficiency and that we inject the right amount of DEF at the right time. So when you integrate the system, you test it, and you prove it out, you have the opportunity to have a great product. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ken. Thank you, Lou.